After viewing Pirates of the Caribbean, we are all enthralled by the idea of pirates. But what's this? Instead of black pearls like Jack Sparrow, pirates arrive in real life aboard motorboats. So, if you want to see what actual pirate attacks look like, stay around until the finish. When a cruise ship's security learned of an impending pirate raid, they prepared to respond and launched a counterattack to protect the positions better. The pirates were attacked with a barrage of rounds from an M60C machine gun. Although not physically on them, it was close enough to them to serve as a warning, but it had no impact on them. They fired several more shots, this time a little closer, but it was still ineffective. Meanwhile, the army boats turned toward the pirate's ship, and security personnel encircled them. The raid was stopped when the pirates were forced to surrender before the Navy. The security of the ship fired a few warning shots when they noticed an approaching vessel, but the pirates responded by firing back, according to the sources of this video. Next, what? Between the two ships, there was a lot of crossfire. Sorry, but this time, the pirates honestly picked the wrong boat to bother with. The pirates could be seen in the footage sitting aboard a vessel as it approached this massive ship in the Indian Ocean. The ship's guards engaged them in a defensive confrontation before starting to fire. Both sides exchanged gunfire during this brief conflict, but ultimately, the guards emerged victorious and drove the pirates back into the open ocean. Furthermore, Somali pirates frequently posed issues for ships traveling across the Indian Ocean, so they deserve what they got. We occasionally, though seldom, witness Somali pirates being beaten by the military. This army is one of them. Watch how amazing it is that these pirates parked next to a large ship and then scaled the entire thing. The second pirate follows the first pirate, and so on. When the ship's security learned of their invasion, they promptly secured all doors and withdrew to the steering room, where they devised a strategy to capture every intruder. They came up with a plan and managed to catch everyone. Then, with their hands down and faces down on the ground, we observe every pirate. The army's deadly close defense weapons also fired down their ship. It is known as Titford Tad. When pirates attacked a ship, this footage was captured using a cell phone. While the other members were taking revenge on the Somali pirates, one of the men began to charge. The only goal of the pirates is to seize control of the ship and plunder everything and everything of value. The same may have happened in this instance. However, the guards aboard the ship are seen shooting at the pirates and refusing to allow them to board. In the footage, a ship's crew member can also be seen talking on the phone with someone about their current predicament. Due to frequent pirate attacks, the Gulf of Aden is a nightmare for sailors. For the ship attacks, the pirates have organized into many factions. Sometimes, like in this clip, pirates make awful mistakes. Attacking an oil tanker is acceptable, but warships ships? Okay, sir, do you know the target of your attack? A vessel of the Navy. The pirates in this film may have believed that boarding the ship would be simple, but the guards there weren't your typical guards, and they wound themselves in jail. A motor tanker ship was seen moving quickly to defend itself from an attack by pirates attempting to board the boat and take it over in a video that went viral on the internet and shocked the entire globe. The ship's skipper tried to maneuver it away from the pirates. The ship's skipper can be heard phoning higher authorities in the footage to signal his distress. The pirates attempted to strike again after their initial effort was unsuccessful. The pirate could attach the ladder to the ship and board the ship on his second attempt. The pirates can be seen boarding the ship in the footage. Later, images demonstrated how the pirate had inside wrecked the boat. The equipment and bags were strewn everywhere, and gunshot holes were around. They destroyed what they couldn't take and took what they could. The ship businesses have experienced significant stress due to Somali pirates. They assault the ships every time they pass along the Somali coast. An online video of a pirate boat approaching a ship carrying crude oil quickly became popular. The ship's crew evaluated the situation and began to take preventative action. The crew can be seen utilizing a water cannon in the video, which can clog the pirate's boat with water and make it difficult for them to navigate. On the other hand, the firms that don't give the staff enough facilities and tools they can employ in such circumstances look at that. A bath in water? How exactly does that put a halt to pirates? The cannon is a standard non-lethal weapon aboard merchant ships ships and other boats, but the guards require another weapon to protect the personnel inside the ship. This event occurred in November 2005, when the infamous Somali pirates attacked the cruise liner Seaborne Spirit while cruising near Somalia. It was the first time they had ever attacked a cruise ship. Before it, they had never ventured to approach a large ship, 
but the film depicts a pirate boat approaching one. You can hear the captain yelling, stay inside, everyone. It's a worrying circumstance. Let's enter, please. Ladies and gentlemen, all shops remain indoors. Stay indoors, please. We strive to maintain our distance. It is alarming. Please remain indoors. The raid was undoubtedly a first for both sides, but the pirates were well prepared and the captain outwitted them all. He maneuvered the ship to make waves to upset the approaching boats, then managed to escape in reverse course, outrunning them. All people were saved. Even though they were meritorious, certain occurrences were not featured in our final list. The two additional entries are shown here. We can see a pirate speedboat approaching the ship in this video. The crew is terrified and shaken as they fire guns at the spacecraft. Is this it? Who are they? I am still trying to decide what to look at. The ship's captain activated the red alert and ordered the crew to remain calm and find safe havens. Naturally, the pirates would have wanted to take over the ship and plunder it, but thankfully, they could not do so and were forced to flee empty-handed. We subsequently witnessed the ship's glass being shattered due to the pirates' gunfire. Pirates do exist, and they may make terrible mistakes. As an illustration, this video depicts five young Somali males apprehended by a U.S. Navy ship off the coast of Africa. They were Somali pirates who intended to board and plunder the ship they could be seen lounging on in the video. However, they were unaware that it was no ordinary ship. The U.S. naval ship Nicholas was the target of the men's fire. They believed it to be a commercial ship. They embarked on a mission to combat pirates along the east coast of Africa. The five individuals are seen in the video scrambling to flee the U.S. Navy authorities' rounds that were fired at them. All five guys were apprehended and taken aboard. They were put on trial in Norfolk, Virginia. They all faced mandatory life sentences for the other five. It refers to Operation Adelajna, conducted by Spanish naval troops in 2018. The EU declared it a success over pirates by detonating a small boat believed to be a whaling ship. A Spanish maritime ship promptly targeted it with a missile after confirming no people were on board. The ensuing explosion was caught on camera during the EU's naval campaign against pirates. In 2014, T a video of a ship security squad getting ready to use their firearms against pirates became popular online. In this footage, the security squad is hurrying to grab their guns as we observe a pirate raid on a ship. As we can see, the team was not very active when the pirates attacked so they were unprepared and grabbed whatever weapon they could to defend themselves. Two security guards can be seen crouching on the ship's deck, sniper rifles in hand, ready to engage the pirates. The security team raced to save the day as the boat was in a code yellow crisis. I appreciate you watching the video very much. Please like and forward it to your friends. To ensure you don't miss the following incredible videos, subscribe to the channel and click the bell button. Once more, many thanks.